All right, folks, next up on the block, we've got for you eight, count them, eight different comics, all in one lot, all one money, all one bid. All you've got to do is head on over to thebigtoyauction.com and bid on them now. So what we're going to do is, I know if you were here, you would take the time, if you were here in the gallery with us, you would take the time to look over these, make sure that they are up to your standards. Uh, take a look out of them, out of the bag. Um, concentrate on the covers. Look for any kind of bends, folds, scrapes, tears, scratches, etc. Uh, but you're not. We get so many bidders from all over the country that we know you're not going to fly in from North Carolina for the weekend just to check this out. So what I'm going to try and do is recreate uh, the experience for you. And we're going to do that by shining the light all over all of the pieces here. So you'll get a chance to see any kind of stress on these corners, on the spine, little, little things like that tiny uh, bend right there. And to enhance it, I'm gonna give it this little wiggle jiggle here so the light will change and bounce off it at different angles. Come along over here. And then we'll zoom out. We'll also do it on the back. A lot of places you don't get a chance to see the back. You just get that front uh, shot in the catalog, and that's about it. Sometimes you'll see the back as well, but not quite as often, especially if it's a slabbed piece or if it's a lower dollar value, if it's not a key, if it's not something that's uh, important to everybody else's collection. But if it's important to your collection, we want to make sure that you see it and know it. Things like that right there. And then a thing that you never see is the interiors. I definitely want you to have access to the interiors. Now we're not gonna show you um, everything inside for a lot of reasons, including copyright issues, but we certainly want you to learn how to hypnotize uh, anyone in six minutes, as this ad will point out. <laughs> um, but what we do wanna do is show you. Now I may say this is cream or it's white, or it's off-white, and you may rightfully disagree with my opinion. Don't take my word for it. I'm the one trying to sell you this item. You should take your word for it. This is your uh, opinion, and you're the one who's going to end up taking this home. This is going to be in your collection. Uh, you're going to be the owner. It may as well be your decision and your opinion of color that lets you know. So that's why we show you this. Um, you get an idea with your own eyes of quality and condition of the pages. Also, if there's any kind of damage, sometimes you get some water damage that isn't apparent on the outside, but it comes through in the seams and the staples. Um, you'll have an opportunity to see that. Sometimes you'll have inner pages that are uh, bent or dog-eared, torn, whatever the case may be. Um, that's why we do this, so that you are aware and then you know. So we'll make that available to you. I'll do that for all uh, seven of these. We'll run through it as quick as possible. However, because um, I want to, I want to value your time here. I don't want to take up too much of your day, but I want you to get a full uh, review of everything. So we'll do that as quick as possible. But we do it in uh, HD. 1080p is how we record it. So depending on the device that you're using, I don't know what this is right here. Some scuffing schmutz something we'll get it up to that now let me put some white underneath it so so you can see it yourself but what you'll be able to do is head back um you can always go forward backward and zoom in is why we do this in 1080p and take a look at it on your own time as well you can see that little bit of damage. I don't want to make it worse. I do want you to be aware that it has frayed. It's come undone. No amount of pressing is going to fix that. That's just how it is. But this is a tougher one to find. Chroma tick number uh, three, I believe. This is number three. So some issues on the, 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 the cover, certainly. But it's a little bit harder, a rarer book. Is it a very high value book? No, it's not, depending, uh, despite its rarity. So again, some kind of, looks like it got really scuffed, like it got dragged across the floor. And then we saw that same tearing from before right here again with part on the back. But the inside looks fantastic. 
great reader copy right here. If you love The Tick, who doesn't? This is a great way to see it in color. We're moving on to the Marvel Universe. This is the handbook of the Marvel Universe now, if you'll recall what that was. This is just three ring binders to put those in there. There was a, a version earlier in the 80s where they, um, where they released month after month the book, including the Books of the Dead. Um, this is a little bit different in that this is designed to be put into that three ring binder. So it is still in its original um, poly bag right here packaging. It's a little bit tougher to, to see what's inside. I'll show you there's some slight bending. That I believe is from the shrink wrap process and then just sitting around all these years. But it's about as new as it's going to get. People always talk about uh, when they bring us collections, they say, oh, I've got tons of comics in their original wrappers. Now, you and I know those aren't original wrappers. These are <laughs> comic bags. But this is actually in its original wrapper. Send it over here. You can see that aim gentleman right there. So they're pretty much ready to go. And you can see the uh, the color whiteness of the, the pages. They are all there. How many are there? I don't know. And is this just, uh, well, this will tell you all of them. Interesting that they chose to do it that way. I'm guessing each subsequent one, this was number three. I would have thought they'd go from A to B, then C to D, but I guess they just took um, a random one. And that makes sense. I'm much more likely to buy it if it has one or two or three um, major characters. And then Heimdall, Sunder. And, uh, Zaran, ones that I don't quite care about as much. So I guess it was a good way to do it, and here's a good way to fill out your collection if you're missing some. So that is the Handbook of the Marvel Universe, number three. We're moving on to Wolverine, number 115. I believe this was after the Hama era. No, it is not. Absolutely part of the Hama era. You know you're going to get a quality story right there, a good read. And the comic itself so far is looking pretty good. I don't see much. See that little bit of stress right here, but no real ticking on that. Thing that wouldn't press out. Even a, even an amateur press would probably take that out pretty well. That's looking pretty good. I do want to point out that it is a gatefold cover. So it does fold out. Let's let you see, see it in its entirety. It is a gatefold cover like this, and that is why it doesn't quite line up on the edge here. Sometimes that helps the quality, sometimes it harms it, depending on how it was handled. Back is a nice dark cover, so it really lets any kind of imperfections pop, and I'm not seeing any. A little bit of waviness here and there, but that's about it. And then let's take a look at the quality and condition of the pages. All around looking pretty good. You've seen that before as we move on to this. Now, we put this in here. It came from one of our consigners, um, same consigner as the rest, so we thought we'd make it available to you. This is sealed, and it's it's taped into there just to, to keep it. So it is a sealed 1994 Topps Universe uh, card. When I say Topps, I FLIR is what I meant. Um, this is from FLIR. It is a silver oil card and it is sealed. The tape on here was just to keep it from flopping around inside the bag. That's how we received it from the uh, consigner, but it has never been opened. So you're getting a cool little wax pack. Any gum in there? I don't feel any. I don't feel any gum. I don't know if they came with it. Uh, if they do, we're going to recommend you do not eat it. <laughs> so you can see right there, it's sealed. Original uh, 1994 FLIR wax pack. Not really a wax pack, it's a uh, oil pack, but you get the idea. And we'll let it flop around in there now. But we have that. Never sealed, never or never opened, never been used. Moving on to Parable. This is some of the Mobius works. I believe it's two of them combined into a small graphic novel. Little issues right here. Oftentimes when it's a graphic novel, you you don't get a whole lot of issues on the cover simply because it's such a thick stock. Really, you can hear it. Nice square bound so you don't get as much ticking, although as we showed, there is just a little bit of that right here. And that beautiful Mobius artwork that wraps around to the back cover. 
another benefit of it being a graphic novel is that you get that back cover as well. I don't believe there's any ads. No, doesn't appear to be. So quality and condition right here. Pages looking absolutely beautiful. Plus you get a little bit of this bonus stuff at the end. Nice little piece right there, especially for you silver surfer lovers, Mobius folks. Moving on here to the amazing Spider-Man number 430. Back when Carnage was all the rage. I, I suppose he still is, but this was that first original run when Venom and Carnage were just being introduced to the Marvel Universe. And very nice. Seeing much of anything right here. The direct edition. With the old wiggle jiggle on the cover. And I do want to point out this cover appears to be gatefold as well. Either that or wildly miscut. So that's why it's uh, not flush. Yeah, because it's a gatefold. Let's see. Pretty common back then. I like to do that. Give it a little extra. Bumped into the comic book without having to go all metallic cover. Good here. Real issues. This is a really nice copy. Quality and condition of the pages. You can see nice, bright. What's going on there? Spider Man. And there you have it. Before we move on to the last book of this lot, another uh, small graphic novel. This is Silver Surfer, Inner Demons. Nice dark cover, so it's really going to pop everything. But as I said, these things tend not to have too much damage. This has a little bit of waviness. I suspect it was probably uh, kept in a damp environment. Or maybe it just had some stress from the bottom. That'll do it too. Could be, either one. Really looking at it. A little bit of waviness on that cover. More than I would like. Yeah, I think it might have been, been stressed this way. A little bit. Let's check out the inside, see what it tells us. In water damage, so I think maybe it was just stressed. And there you have it. So, good interiors, quality and condition of these pages as well. And that's going to do it. So... You're going to get all eight of these, I'm going to say comics, but it does include things like uh, this card as well. You're going to get all eight. You're going to get these, uh, these things and the graphic novels, but all eight of these pieces, all for one money, all one lot. All it's going to take is one bid, and all you have to do is head on over to thebigtoyauction.com. You can do that right now and click on that button, leave the bid, live um now the, the the auction is raring and tearing it's ready to go right now um so you can leave all those pre-bids that you want and then join us again on auction day as we close live that's the best bet to uh protect your bids from everybody else trying to get it you can uh defend it in real time as we bid call a live close and it's the best way to enhance your chance of getting all of these into your collection. Whichever way you choose to bid, we look forward to seeing you at the auction.